Welcome back to Trading with CJ. Just when we thought things couldn't get more interesting for Torchlight Energy, we go ahead and got some big news out just last night, okay? This is massive news. And yeah, we've got so much going on with this one, okay? We have the special dividend, which we've covered so many times. We have the merger, of course, between Meta Materials and Torchlight stock. We have all this talk about potential short squeeze. The shorts are gonna have to cover by the merger and now you add on top of that a reverse split okay there is so much going on we're going to break down all of this latest news around Torchlight Energy today in this video if you appreciate all the updates on Torchlight on my channel please go ahead and smash the like and subscribe to my channel as well we've been covering penny stocks for some time now Torchlight is still in the penny stock range however it will not be for much longer okay the merger is now set to have a date June the 28th, there was lots of talks around this being before June the 30th, but now we do have a date. June the, 30th, June the 28th, we are going to see this change from TRCH to MMAT. If you currently hold MMATF, you're going to be holding MMAT. And if you currently hold TRCH, you're going to be holding MMAT as well. The merger is going to be happening on June the 28th. Let's go into the latest news around Torchlight, which clarifies a lot of things. Okay, They announced their payment of the special series preferred stock dividend, which we know, Okay, if you held this one, if you bought in, if you bought in on the dividend okay, before the 22nd, on the 22nd, then you will be eligible for this dividend. Okay, So that's just something to consider there. If you bought in after the 22nd, you will not be eligible for the dividend. And of course, you had to hold this one until the record date, which was the 24th and there's lots of talks around this some people saying you could have sold before because of the plus two rule and uh, when you ring up some brokerages they actually say the opposite of things that they have not clarified really talks like on when you have to sell this one to be on the safe side you would have held this one to the 24th okay what difference does a day make not a lot in the grand scheme of things however let's go into this latest news a one to two reverse stock split and planned closing of the arrangement agreement with meta materials okay so this is what's going on we're now having a reverse stock split there was lots of rumors around this potentially happening. And we've seen this so many times with lots of different stocks. You know, I talk about a lot about penny stocks. They tend to do very similar things to reverse stock splits. We saw this with Higher Tide on my channel, CTRM, etc. And yeah, we're going to what exactly happened after the reverse stock split and what this means for you as a shareholder in the company. But let's just go through this. So this is going to become effective after market closing on June the 25th. And this was approved by the stockholders of Torchlight and its special shareholder meeting. So as of now, the reverse stock split has going to be taking place, okay? You can see right here, it's a one for two ratio, which represents the lowest amount Torchlight may implement under the one to 20. So they sort of put this here like, oh, we're doing you a really good thing right here. You know, we, we could have gone for a one to 20, but we've gone for a one to two. One to two is better than a one for 20, okay? What this basically means is for every two shares you currently own, you're now going to own one share. Okay, so if you own 20 shares and it's a 20 to 1, you'd own one share. But yeah, it's now a 2 to 1. So for every two shares, you now own one. So I know what you're thinking. I'm going to lose half my value. No, what's going to happen is the share price will double. So if you own the two shares for $1 a share, you will now own one share for $2. Okay, so really you're not losing any money on this in terms of the, you know, the actual value of it. You're going to have the same amount of overall value, just less shares now the reason they do this is to boost the share price they are giving you less shares for a higher value normally this is so that companies come to regain uh, the nasdaq listing if you fall below the one dollar you will fall off the nasdaq and the whole reason for this merger between meta materials and torchlight is so meta can get listed on the nasdaq so they really want to secure their place on this nasdaq maybe they think the price will fall below the one dollar so they want to make sure it doesn't and they secure this that's one of the main reasons people will implement a stock split or reverse split anyway Way. But you can see here, Torchlight also announced the steps necessary to close the business and were completed on June 25th and they expect it to be effective on June the 28th as of 12.01 a.m. And it's going to be uh, trading under MMAT on the NASDAQ. We look forward to it. It's what we've been waiting for since we started speaking about this one early January time. Now it goes on to say, plus the implementation of the reverse stock split is expected that meta material shareholders would receive 3.6 uh, shares of Torchlight. So we've been speaking about this quite a lot. Okay, if you hold Torchlight, if you had one share of Torchlight, you'll receive one share of meta materials. And we always said if you held one share of meta materials, MMATF, you would have received 3.6 shares. That has now changed because of this reverse stock split. And they're still going to own 75% of the company if you hold Meta. However, you are now going to be holding 1.845 shares. So for every one share of Meta materials you currently own, you will hold 1.845 of Torchlight. Okay, because obviously we have seen a two for one reverse split. 
I hope that makes sense. It was 3.6, it is now 1.8. And for every two shares of Torchlight you own, you will no longer be owning two of Meta, you will now be owning one. Because it, both positions have been cut in half, so the share price can double, okay? So that's just what's been going on with this one. I would like to take this opportunity to thank all Torchlight shareholders, uh, its board and the team members for their long support and efforts in making this merger a success, okay? That's from Torchlight CEO. We plan to continue our efforts related to our S asset uh, to provide a positive outcome for the preferred stockholders. As well as entering this new chapter for the combined company, I look forward to working with the management of Meta Materials. So it talks there about a the preferred A stockholders. If you held a dividend, you will have a preferred A stock going into your broker if it is not already. And yeah, that is currently doesn't have a cash value because they haven't sold the assets yet. They haven't sold the only gas assets. But that is just there for when you do get that sale of the assets, you can then sell your preferred stock dividend for the cash value, which as we know, estimated between 1 to 20 according to analysts. You can make your own estimation up, okay, work out how much oil and gas they have, buy the prices, etc. divvy up amongst shareholders, and you can get to some sort of a price prediction for that. However, that is a prediction from analysts, $1 to $20. It really depends on what they sell this for. So that's all the latest news around this one. It, all of the talk around the 3.6 shares and the one for one has basically been cut in half, and the share price will now double. This is hopefully that they can regain that NASDAQ list and they can stay on it, okay, with a stronger share price. It's not the best thing for companies, okay? Most people do think reverse stock split is a bad thing. Some people don't mind it, okay? You can weigh your own uh, thoughts on that one. Let me know in the comments below. However, as we've seen with lots of reverse stock splits, we do tend to see a bit of a sell-off, okay, when they happen. So it's just worth considering. That is one side of things. However, we put that to the side, you add in the short squeeze, this could go the other way. I want to draw your attention into this right here. Torch MMAT short squeeze on Monday, okay? This is all potential, this is all speculation. You can see here they announced the merger, 28th, and the company's number automatically changes due to the reverse stock split which won't expose naked shorts, making them close their position. But according to Webull and a variety of our brokers, they are closing out short positions on the merging date. And that's what we're saying, okay? Shorts will be closed because it's basically a new company now, okay? And the CEO originally brought attention to the short squeeze in an interview on his Twitter, why would he mention it if there wasn't a short squeeze potential? That's just worth considering, okay? There is a potential for this, whether it will happen or not, we don't know. Basically, the shorts are going to be forced to cover their positions or sell out, therefore making the price rise, okay, and this becoming a short squeeze. Will it happen on Monday? Time will tell. Will we see a green day? Potentially due to short squeeze. Red day, potentially due to reverse stock split and people selling out. We see it with SPAC stocks time and time again. People sell out after the merger because they got what they wanted, okay? Most people got into this one because of the dividend slash merger and after Monday, both of which will happen. So yeah, just worth knowing that. However, Meta Materials is looking to be a good company holding on to for the long term. Lots of talks around partnering with Elon Musk, etc. as well down the line. So if you do want to hold on to this one, you could potentially do this. Some brokerages are closing positions regardless. I'm with 212. They will be closing our position regardless. However, it's been a fun ride. We have the dividend. We'll keep giving you the updates as well. Very interesting to see what's going to happen on Monday. Monday is going to be a very big day for Torchlight. One way or the other, let's see what will happen with this one. But yeah, that's just the news. We have a reverse stock split as we expect it to be happening. And yeah, it's going to be a two for one. And of course, the stock dividend, they are working on that as well. So it's all exciting. Let me know your thoughts on this reverse stock split in the comments below. Is it a good thing for you? Is it a bad thing? Or do you not care because you're going to be selling out or leaving this one to ride? Let me know your thoughts on that. And if you appreciate all these updates, please go ahead and smash the like and subscribe to my channel as well. We do have a free Discord as well with a Torchlight channel. Link to that is in the description below. Thanks so much for watching and until next time.